Can I do my intro, please? Like, I just, I'll see you later. Bye-bye, baby. I love you. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Candy, and today we are going to be working with this lovely palette here it is the Too Faced gingerbread and spice palette and if you're my candy babes thank you so much guys for coming back and rocking with me today and if you're new welcome i hope you enjoy this video i received this palette like any other palette that i've received in the past and if you haven't noticed in the previous video it was my birthday and he surprised me with this palette and another collection which will be another video here pretty soon here is the palette and you'll see me do swatches later and the shadows are just really great um you know what while we're talking i think i might pop in so i'm gonna take uh frostbite me because i actually wanted to use that on the lid and it wasn't popping and i was like this has got to be a glitter one it's got to be like a paste on with like setting spray so here we go Ooh, frostbite me honey that's pretty it's like subtle with like hints of pink iridescence in it. Yeah, she cute. She cute. She got woody. Um, I do want to point out that I did use two different ways on using um, the palette today. On this eye, I did do concealer and use the 24-hour uh, eyeshadow primer. So you guys be the judge. I like them both. They came out really gorgeous. I mean, it's a gorgeous palette. It really is nice and uh, gingerbread-y. It's like a gingerbread house. Hey, hey, hey guys. So as you know, I'm starting off with a fresh face and my brows are completely done. And this palette is super gorgeous. I love how it's lightweight. You get a full mirror and you get so many shadows like Too Faced does. We are going to go ahead and use two different types of base. Just so you guys can see the difference between the two. We're going to be using the 24 hour insurance primer on the left eye. And then on the right, we're going to be using the concealer in the shade Maple. Okay, so for the first shade, we're going to be taking the shade called Looky at my cookie and we're going to place that directly on the crease and then we're going to blend that out and as you can see it was actually a little harder to blend this out on the primer side not so much on the concealer side i think it's also because it's a really light shade and it's super pale so just be mindful it might be a little hard to build up that color but once you do you can see that the payoff is really great we're now going to hop on to the next shade. This is the shade called Gumdrop. It's a super vibrant pink. And we're going to basically place that directly on top of the look a, looky at my cookie. Once that has again been placed on, we're going to move on to the third shade. And we're going to be using the Figgity Pudding. And we're going to place Figgity Pudding directly into the crease and pretty much on the outer corner. And we're going to blend that inward. Once that has been done, we're going to go ahead and cut my crease. So the next shade we're going to hop in, we're going to try in is Warm and Toasty. It's a gorgeous kind of like nice muted gold shade. And we're going to place it on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm... And then to give that more of a pop, we're gonna hop on to Hot Toddy. And then with a small shader brush, we're gonna use Spice Eggnog. And this is a great shimmery, champagne-y kind of color. And then we're basically gonna re-add um, Hot Toddy just to bring out that pink fuchsia shade one more time to give it a little bit more depth. We're gonna place Fitty Pudding on the outer corner of my eye and then blend that into Hot Toddy. Once that's done, we're basically going to go use the same way that we place the shades onto the lid onto the bottom lashes. We're going to go back into looking at my cookie, gumdrop, and then figgity pudding to the lower lash line. Now to give myself some more definition, we're going to hop onto the NYX. This is their precise liner and we're going to use that and then also e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara. We're going to pop those things on and then we're using the lashes from Goddess Collection. This is Circrease. And we're going to place that on once the mascara has completely dried. 
Now, I wanted to give a quick little shout out. Um, Beauty Vault actually sent me these uh, lipsticks and they're super gorgeous. And I really wanted to implement them into this look. So we're using these two shades here. We're going to be placing the lighter shade on the middle portion of my lip and then the darker shade on the outer portion of my lip. We're going to really be creating an ombre look and we're going to be using that both with the liners as well as the liquid lipsticks. And again, we're just going to go ahead and place a liquid lipstick right on top of the lighter shade of the liner and then again on the darker shade for the darker lipstick. So once we place that in, we're going to be basically blending that in with my fingers, so creating this ombre look. And that is pretty much the entire look in a nutshell. Super quick, super easy. Um, I really wanted to just keep it like a normal look, but just give it a little bit more of a pink glam to it. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on like you know I do all the time. So let's get back to this review, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching the tutorial. Um, if you did like it, go ahead and give this video a good thumbs up or go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on the whole um, process of creating this whole entire look. And I'm really surprised on how the vibrancy is on both shadows. Like, this is a gorgeous palette. And I've only touched on four of the shades. Anywho, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, I hope you did like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are, don't forget to forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I drop another one for you. Okay, anyway. Bye, guys. Peace.